Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Star Sector. Today we're going to start a new game. So my last series of videos was based off of, you know, my initial playthrough. I've learned a bunch and I want to try some new things on this playthrough. So we are going to start over. All right, first we got to pick out a character. I'm kind of going for more of a bad guy. He works. For, that, that works. Um, let's go with the at an average. We'll generate a name. Hercules Weeks. Hercules. Hercules. Normal star system. I like it. Okay, so we are not... Um, we're going still with the faster start, but I think previously I did an exploration, an explorer. This time we're going to do with a, uh, the mercenary. I like that. That gives us a destroyer, a light carrier, heavy frigate, frigate, and a tanker. So, normal skip the tutorial okay so the skill system I don't think we've discussed the skill system much but better time what better time than now <clears throat> so you can put points in each of these skill trees when you put one in you can unlock um, any of these skills so you can unlock right click to deselect once but however, like we can only put one skill point in. If we have two, we need to keep pumping in these three pips to get uh, to be able to upgrade that skill. So we are going to be kind of bad guys here. We don't need to uh, do more than the first one. Combat endurance is pretty important just because it uh, increases the operating time. Missile specialization's good. I, I'm not 100% sure if the ship I'm going to get. I think it's a missile ship, but I um, don't quite know. Evasive action, these are all pretty good. But I like uh, peak operating time. That is always important. Now we can pick another skill in here, or we can start setting up for our next skill point. I like putting one in leadership because leadership has some very interesting skills. And I do want to do a carrier, <coughs> do carrier stuff. So look at that cool ship up there though, I like it. So let's put the second point into there and we are good to go. All right. It is kind of a, uh, a, dyna a procedurally generated galaxy within some some boundaries, so uh, we're not quite sure what we're going to get, but we'll take a look at what uh, what's around us. I think Star Sector is probably the best game that no one's heard of, really. All right, so let's look at the intel around us. All right, where are we? All right, so we are at Gorvis. There's a pirate world we can mess with. Let's take a look at our, our our ships. So we do have our hammer clay class destroyer. We got some heavy mortals, mortars. Oh yeah, the, the finisher missiles, the harpoons are nice. I like those point defense lasers, rail guns. We have torpedo bombers and broadsword heavy fighters. Torpedo bombers are nice, though. Those are fun. Heavy custom frigate has auto cannons, so we don't really have any energy. Oh, there is some energy right there. Close support frigate has harpoons. Okay, so we, we are in good shape. We got a nice little ship here. Nice little fleet. So 
So now the kind of question is, so I, I kind of want to go hang out with the Tri-Tachyrons. I don't quite know where they are. Let's see if we can, do we know where they are? Let's see, you can kind of, when you look at the star systems in mouse over, there's, you can get an idea of who's in them. There's a Tri, there's Tybexina. So we can go over there. That's another good one we can go to. And then we can kind of sign up with them. And then we can... Oh, where is this guy? Is he close enough? Ooh, we can reach him, actually. We should be able to take that. That could be a good starting mission. All right. We'll cut over to that. Well, I was going to go after that bounty, but these pirates decided they wanted to tangle a little, so let's get into a fight. This could be a quick... This could be a quick playthrough. Alright. So we are going to kind of just go in and... we got to wait till they get in range here. See, there's our torpedo bombers. They kind of hang back and launch these really na really mean torpedoes. All right. So who do we got? Let's uh, go after this guy right here. Oh, that did not go well for him. All right. So yeah, with the uh, there's those finisher missiles. Ooh, those things when you don't have shields, those things are brutal. guy is uh, getting close to us. See, the shields are effectively block it. Let's take out this uh, other ship off. See, he's backing up, which is a pain. He's a little frigate, so... Oh, this is one of their big ships. Let's take that down get my capital ship in there. He's not long for this world. Those finisher missiles, if one gets in there. Yeah, he's just about out. Nice work. Next up. Concentrating fire is pretty important in this. Although, see, we run out of command points when we do that, so that is kind of a an issue with doing it that way. Oof, very nice. We don't have any command points, so we can't do much. We can't direct them right now. This guy has a little blink ability. I'm a big fan of kind of World War II and the carrier in the Pacific with the carrier, so I'm definitely going to try to build a nice carrier fleet. This guy's retreating, I think. We do have a command point, so we could order, put an order in. But this is a good start. Oh, yep, the enemy will claim victory. Okay, so we'll, uh, We'll just let them go. Pick through the wreckage. 
take some supplies, we'll take this, take some fuel, auto can, we'll take that, take all this. Sadly, no ships, that's all right, they were pretty much junk anyway. Uh oh, they jump. Oh, so there may be something hostile. We'll we'll go through. That's all right. I'm not too worried. We'll save right now. I think that's a good first start from this. And next one, we'll do that. We'll uh take out that bounty. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a good day.